Morning YouTube, it's about 10 degrees, got something a wee bit special today for you. So I'm just about to take it for a review, first ride impression, as a Yamaha and Nikon. Thanks to MCS Kilmarnock for letting me take this out, as you can see. Two wheels at the front. So I'll jump on it and give you a first ride impression. Oh, strange. Feel strange. We'll see how we go under this. Oh, it feels really strange. It's a wee bit taller. There we go. Feels quite strange to begin with well it doesn't feel as if it's going to be slow straight away mirrors are excellent on it strange of them away forward like that what do you think so far I've been out in it 5 minutes it's really really stable I mean, what can I say? Very stable. The right height is slightly just a bit taller than MT09. Well, you can lean right over on this straight away. That's the first thing I've noticed. Quick shifter's absolutely fine. Let's take her all the way to top gear. Yep. No problems here. Wind protection. It's pretty good. I can feel it a wee bit on my shoulders. But, nah, it's not too bad. Sitting at 70 is very comfortable. It's a tad windy today, so that doesn't help. But aye. So sitting in six, get some throttle. Nothing wrong with that. Power's here if you need it. <coughs> Even in top gear. It does feel very, very planted in the roads. Very comfortable to sit in. Just move myself back a bit. It's even more comfortable in the seat. So my plan for today is obviously a bit of bypass, a bit of more way. I've got to take the course road along to my usual car park. The Vlogster's car park, where I'll do the walk around with the specs for you, get you a closer look at it. And then I'll run the Healy Bray, which is one of my favourite stretches of roads. If you like, back to Colburnie. In fact, I'll take this on the outside. Let's see. Let's see what it's like, really. So third. It's a back wheel. Oh! We scoot off the back wheel. Nothing to worry about in this spot. Well, oh, you can really feel the grip at the front. So that's us coming down to the course road. So I see, hopefully we don't get the rain.
Oh, you can really lean this over. Bumpies. Oh, uh, absolutely fine. Let's see how she does now. Well, I think the brakes work okay. <laughs> oh, massive difference. This can just eat the corners. In terms of handling, as you can see, uh, you get a lot of confidence. You just treat it like a normal, normal bike. Get that extra grip at the front, which you definitely can feel. <coughs> Very, very planted at the front. We'll get some good corners in the Healy Bray, but you can fling it into the corners. It's in high enough to see way in front, traffic wise as well. Good seating position, pegs are fine. You are bolt upright, but wider handlebars, obviously. The MT-09, very, very upright. So here we go up to one of my favourite roundabouts, as you've probably seen in previous videos. So we'll see how it does. There's a nice big hole at the end of this bit here. Right, definitely doesn't unsettle it at all. Definitely plenty of power <coughs> for overtaking. It's very, very stable. <coughs> I mean, I wouldn't even think of it. It's not even a second thought in leaning it into the corners. Feels light and flickable. When you're moving, no issues with that either. Very nice. So it says we're going to my the Vlogster car park. We'll get a wee walker in. Find a nice place to sit. Her. Well, that's me in the Vlogster car park. <laughs> We'll do a wee walker in. That's it there, Yamaha Nikon. Strange looking here. Eh? So I'll get the dog walkers out the day as you can see. So I'll just get my phone and we'll get the walker in. So there it is, the Nikon. Thanks to MCS Kilmarnock. So I've got it for a couple of hours, so just get a quick walker in it. So it's the 847cc engine for the MT-09. It's just slightly fuel different to get more Torque bottom end. I think it's 
think it's 87.5 newton meters of torque at 10,000 rpm, 115 PS at 10,000 rpm as well. Bit of weight in the bike, you can feel it <coughs> when you first sit on it, but once you're moving, feels as it, the same as any other bike to be fair. There's plenty of low down grunt on it, it's not a slow bike by any means. You definitely feel the grip difference in the front, it's very, very planted. It's a wee bit chilly today, it's about 10 degrees, but in terms of it moving about, you can really lean it into the corners. It's got a 45 degree angle, lean angle. So you really can carve the corners for want of a better word. So you get two traction control settings, three power mode settings. So you've got sport mode, standard mode and rain mode. So say you've got traction control, you've got a quick shifter. It's also got cruise control. As you can see it's the it's the CP3 engine. It's just tuned differently. It's got an 18 litre fuel tank, two 15 inch wheels in the front and a 17 inch in the back, bags and bags of grip. So I've been out in about 40 minutes so far, I'm about to do a run of the Healy Bray, but turn it on the motorway, absolutely no problem, very comfortable, definitely a sports tourer. You could cover a lot of miles in it. Gets a lot of smiles, a lot of thumbs up. Uh, good reaction for other car drivers. Some double takes, everything you would expect. Aye, right, so I'll jump back on her. We'll take her up the Healy Bray. We'll push it a wee bit see how she handles, uh, but so far I'm 100% happy with how she handles, the grip's immense, lean it into the corners, you just treat it like a normal bike, as I said it's not a freestanding bike, you will need to put your feet down uh, when you stop or you will fall over, so it's not aimed at that market, I think it's more aimed at a sports touring market or if you're going to ride, say in gravel, strikes me as perfect for that, so I'll jump back on it. Yeah, so that's a walk around done. So I'm just going to carry on towards Largs, just cut it short and then go over the Healy Brain to Colburnie. We can test on some corners. Aye, right, so, so far so good. Very planted, plenty of power. You can flick it about. You just treat it like a normal bike. You can aggressively lean into the corners in it. The front's very planted, potholes, all that kind of stuff. Doesn't unsettle it at all. It's a very, very good bike. But this next section of the road will have a wee bit of fun. <coughs> we'll just push it a wee bit harder. Just to see if it's unsettles in any way. Which I'm, I'm pretty sure it won't. Back end slid out there, but 
front stayed planted. Roads a wee bit slidey. Aye, so just treat it you normally would. Lean it in. That will do the rest for you. Brakes are good, very good. Had a wee moment where our van had stopped in front of us and our car was turning, kind of noticed it kind of late. Hammered on the brakes, not an issue. Certainly seems to have plenty of power. But the MT-09 engine is a very good engine, so uh, let's get by him. Yeah. Feels really good. There we go. So it's just lean in. As you normally would. Just gotta drop it in a gear here. Absolutely fine. Yep, it's all good. I'm very impressed with us, I must admit. That's where I'd normally turn off, but we'll go all the way to Kilburnie. Not on. That was me just trying the brakes in the corner, which you shouldn't really do. 
Ó, não, né, Xê? I'm totally well impressed, especially how high, how much you can lean her in. Confidence everywhere with us. Past that with flying colours. See, really cranny question the grip. It's definitely there. Front end, amends. <coughs> Back end's a wee bit scornmy, but nothing too bad. I'm in third gear going through the town, 30 mile an hour. Absolutely fine. Something about 3000 RPM. Certainly soaks up the bumps. It's just so relaxed. It really is. Well, that's me taking it back now. It's been a couple of hours. Really enjoyed it. So, a wee summary. Bags of power in it, even though it's a wee bit heavier. That MT09 engine, but cornering is a dream in it. Just gives you bags and bags of confidence. Aye. Plenty of power. Love the mirrors. Mirrors are fantastic. Switch gears all good. So we want it to be comes well away from the indicator. The front is very, very planted. It's been a slidey day. Slipping and sliding in the back wheel. The front side very planted. And obviously what it's aimed at is corners. And it absolutely eats the corners. Definitely a sports tourer. Be a fantastic sports tourer this. You go anywhere on any kind of road, gravel, any matter. Very impressed with it overall. You've got your quick shifter, you've got your power modes, you've got ABS, obviously, you've got traction control. Quick shifter works. Perfectly, as long as you're using it above 4000 RPM. Does it like to take below that? So I'll make my way back to MCS Scotland. Thank them again for letting me out to do this. Ride review, first impression review. Get in contact with them if you have any questions about the bike or if you want a test run yourself, just book a, book a time, got a great team there at MCS, they'll accommodate you. But this is a must try, this bike's a must try, you have to have a shot at this. I haven't really found anything that's put me off it. Nice, right, so I'll take it back. So if you like the video, hit the like button. If you're looking for a more bike channel that now includes bike reviews, then hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell so you know when I upload. Don't forget to hit the bell. Comment if you've got any questions. 
the guard in the bike. Always answer the comments. And as usual, if you're in the local area, you like to join in, hit me with a message. I'll get you involved. There's a great bunch of guys in this area. I know we're coming into the winter, but I'll be riding throughout the winter when I get the chance. And watch out for more bike reviews in the future. We've got the whole new range, the MT range 2019, coming into MCS shortly. So you'll be seeing more of this through my channel. And also working on kind of used bike reviews as well. So, thanks for being out with me today. It's not been the best day for weather, but it is what it is. And I'll catch you the next time. Cheers!